So why is worm control so important? If we think about it, what are we trying to do to control worms? We're trying to stop those worms um, damaging the gut of our lambs and we know that um, if the lamb's gut gets damaged then it's not going to be able to make the most of its nutrition. It can't get the nutrients out of its diet the same so it won't grow so quickly. It starts to um, impair things like trace element uptake and then the whole thing, you know, the lamb growth rate slows down and we end up with these small runty lambs at the end of the season. So it's really important that we avoid that but also if we think about it, lamb growth rate is directly related to efficiency. So if, for example if you take a lamb that's growing at 100 grams a day and it gets to 40 kilos and you compare that with another lamb that's got to 40 kilos and 300 grams a day, the faster growing lamb will eat half as much as the slower growing lamb. Now that's a big cost to any sheep farmer so it's really important that we try and maintain good growth rates and worm control is a part of that. Now that doesn't mean in practice that we can stop lambs meeting worms altogether. I think there is this feeling that some people have that worm control is all about stopping lambs and worms getting together um, and that we're going to be able to keep those lambs clean. It isn't that at all because over time if the lambs are exposed to worms they will begin to develop their immunity. M mature adult ewes are immune to and will use their immune system to control their worm burden. So we have this balance where we want to stop the worms doing the damage to the lambs so they can grow quickly but we also need to just keep exposing them to some worms so that they develop some immunity and it's all about that balance um, that we try to get within our strategies.